Today I was going to create some GIFs to use in my videos and I thought that I should show you how I create them because it took me uh, quite a while to figure out how to do them. Turns out it's pretty easy, but I still had to do a fair amount of research. I'm sure that different artists use different workflows for this and maybe my way is not the best, but it's the way that works for me right now. So I'm going to show you how I do it. We're going to go on Procreate first and I'm going to create a new canvas. It's important to select the size that you want. In this case, the size that I want is a 4K size for a video. So I'm going to create a 4K canvas. And what's nice in Procreate is that it remembers the canvas size that you create. So if you give it a title, then you'll always be able to click on that one and you won't have to remember what the aspect ratio is supposed to be or how many pixels you should have to have the right size. You just do the research once and then you're good. So I'm opening the canvas in the right size. Now what I would like to create is a flower that grows and blooms a little bit. But first I need to find some references because I can't... Well, I could invent a flower on top of my head right now, but I it's always better with some references. So let's go on Pinterest and find a couple of references that we can use to create this flower. I'm looking for something simple because I don't want to create a whole bouquet. I just want to find a couple of flowers that I like. So maybe a bouquet is not the best research keyword. Maybe just flower and then I'll pick one I like. I like these. Very pretty. So what I do next is that I take a screenshot. I try to crop it and then I save it in my photos here. Now let's look for other flowers that we could draw. I don't really care about the color because I can always change it and procreate after that. Oh, I love these. These are very pretty as well. I love these round flowers. Right here, they're very cute. I'm just trying to find a picture where it's a bit more zoomed in so I can see a bit more detail. This one is good. Tulips are always great, always. And now I would like to find some leaves, some greenery that I can add. I like the fact that not all of these flowers are opened. They're blossoming right now, so I'm going to take this picture as well because I want to include some flowers that have not blossomed yet. So this is great. And these are good leaves that I can add in my drawing. So I think after that will be good. Let's go back in our Procreate app. Now what I like to do is import my pictures in our canvas or the other thing that I could do is open the picture app. These are my flowers. I'm just gonna crop this because I don't know why sometimes the cropping tool does not work and I can open the Procreate app on the side so I have the flowers here and the app here. What I like to do also when I create GIFs is to have a color palette. So I have a couple color palettes that I've saved here. So let's start with the background. I want a light background so I can draw my flowers on top. I like to use the dry ink brush 
Now we are going to start with our first GIF. What I want to do is create the last layer first because that's what I'm going to be building towards after. You'll see what I mean, I think. So we have some round flowers, some tulips. So we're going to try to work on the composition first. I want something simple, as I said. So I'm going to do something like this. I don't want my flowers to take the whole screen. It's just a little gift that's going to occupy the center of the screen. Now you see I did a mistake. I did a background layer, but I forgot to change layers. I'm going to have to start over, I think. No, you know what I'll do? I will create another layer and I'll just draw the flowers on top. And then I'll do it even better this time because now I have kind of a sketch that I can use so I can refine a little bit more my flowers. So this was not all in vain. <laughs> I like to use a lot of different layers because that gives me the most flexibility. And then at the end, I can just merge the layers together. And then I'm going to create a background layer with this color. And we can delete this. And now we have these flowers. I'm just going to refine them a little bit. Now let's draw some of the stems and leaves. See, I'm not following the, the sketch too much. It's just to have a, a general idea. This is very cute, but it's not centered, so I'm already going to group the flowers and I'm going to use the move tool to center them in my image. I think this is fine. Let's add other flowers. I like these. On another layer, let's not forget. I'm doing a very minimal style, so the details are not there, but it's fine. Let's draw some stems. Okay, this is cute so cute okay so this is going to be the final layer of this gif i am going to make sure that everything is centered and now we are going to duplicate the group we need to add the background in the group i go in the settings here I go in canvas and I turn on animation assist. So you see here, this appeared here. So we see that we have only one frame, but if I add another frame, then it's going to switch between the two. You could click on add frame here and then draw on this new frame. You see it appeared here and you can still see what you did before 
it's less opaque so you can draw on top like this and it's gonna switch between this and the flower so let's say that we do play that's intense I like to lower the frames per second to like three sometimes I do a little bit less sometimes more but it's less intense so you see it switches between the two but I don't want this one so I'm going to delete it I'm gonna click on duplicate so I have a new group that appeared it's our second frame this one is the final one so let me just write final so I don't forget this one I'm going to flatten the group I have these flowers here what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase some parts so it gives the illusion that the flowers are growing we are going to start with no flowers at all so in this one we are going to delete the flowers then the flowers are going to grow so let's erase a little bit I want to have the stems grow up to the first leaves first so I'm erasing all the flowers that I have here and I'm going to select my dry ink eraser and just going to refine the edges here so it looks like everything has been done with the same brush so this is our first our second frame i mean then let's duplicate it now we will go from here to a place where the flowers have grown a little bit more but not all the way so we will go and erase i would like the flowers i would like to see this first one and see this junction here and maybe yeah get a bit higher in the flower so i'm going to select my big brush here this is too big I want to cut here I want to cut here I want to cut here and here okay so now that I know where to cut I can just erase quickly the parts I don't want to see and get my dry ink brush and refine the edges this now we can just see what happens when you press play it grows but I I want to add another frame between this one and this one just so there's a bit more um, I feel like it's too sudden that they reach this final stage so let's duplicate the frame and we are going to I want to see this flower, this one, and this one. So I'm going to select my round brush. I want to cut here. So I don't want to see this one. I don't want to see this one. I'm going to cut here. And I don't want to see this one. So let's erase. If you were to redraw this whole image every time, it would look nice too because the flowers would change a little bit. You could see that because your line won't be exactly the same every time. So it's going to be maybe a bit more organic. Things are going to look like they move for real. But I want to do something a bit quicker. So that's why I'm just duplicating the same image and erasing every time. But you could do things differently if you wanted. Sometimes when I have more time, I, I do the whole process, but not today. 
So let's see what happens when we press play. I like it. I think it's a bit fast though, so I'm going to go in settings and do two frames per second. I like it. So it looks like it's growing a little bit. What we could do, what would be nice, is if we make the flower bouquet grow and then we reverse it. I'm going to name the group so it does not get too complicated. I'm going to do like a pyramid. You know when you, you are in a gym class and they make you run pyramids? It's the same. So we're going to do duplicate the fourth one, put it on top. Duplicate the third one, put it on top. Duplicate the second one, put it on top. And we don't need to duplicate the first one because it's going to loop. So if we duplicate it again, then the first frame is going to last too long. So you'll see what I mean when we do play. See? I like it. Now we're done. So we go in the settings. We're going to click on share. Now we have options. We can decide to save it as a GIF, animated GIF. But since I'm going to use them in my videos, I want to save them in an MP4 format. And that's it. We're done. We have created a GIF together. I hope that you found it quite easy. And now you can create everything that you want. You could draw a snake, you can draw an apple, you can draw whatever you like, you can do now. So we have created one gift together. It's my sixth one today, so you can see that it does not take very long at all. Of course, if I had added more details, it could have taken a whole day. Yes, but I wanted a simple illustration, so that's what I did. But you could always complicate everything if you wanted to. But I hope that you found this video interesting, that you learned something, um, and that you're going to create a lot of gifts. So if you do, please share them with me on Instagram. You can tag me in them. Uh, my Instagram handle is going to be in the description below. So I would love to see what you do if you create some gifts. And maybe we can get inspired together and find ideas together. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a kind of a, a draw this in your style, but a gif it in your style? A draw this in your style animation style? I'm sure this exists already. If you create a GIF, share it with me. I would love to see it. And please leave me your comments below. If you're new on my channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. All right, so until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.